is the name of the group, and they kicked off a summer tour last night at Jones Beach. John Taylor is with us this morning. You must have been up really late last night. And Michael DeBar, who now is the uh, lead vocalist with Power Station, replacing the guy, Robert Taylor, that we saw in the video. Who Robert recorded. Palmer. Palmer. Robert, uh, He's Palmer. not a, the reverend. There are a lot Robert of Taylors Palmer. around, as you know, but Robert Palmer is no longer with the group. Now, is it accurate to say, John, that Power Station is a new rock group? Uh, not really. It was meant as a... A diversification kind of thing. It was basically my honeymoon. Uh, two members of Duran Duran went off and got married last autumn. And I'd been talking to Tony Thompson and Robert about working together for a long time. And um, it, we started to make a single, which grew into an album, which grew into a couple of videos, and then grew into a tour. And uh, the whole thing got a little out of hand. So what is it now? Is it just a now summer fling? It's, um, or is it, it's, uh, uh, it's an excuse for lots of parties this summer across America. Just this summer, Rock, that, never mind. Michael, what have they told you? Do you have a life with Power Station beyond the end of a summer tour? I think we're looking at it as a summer fling, as he said, but we'll see. It's also new. I mean, I've only been aboard for like four weeks. So, you know, it's going, we're going to write together and we'll see. Mm. Uh -huh. Well, what about Duran Duran? Duran Duran start work on, blah, 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 uh. on September, in, at the end of September, I think, on a new record. I mean, we've got single at number two in the, in the charts at the moment. We've only done one record this year, but it was a James Bond theme, so. Yeah, I've heard it's it. It's pretty high profile. <laughs> Absolutely. So, do you, how do you look upon uh, going back to uh, Duran Duran and the fall is going back to work? Uh, yeah, no, no, this has been much more like hard work because I've managed the power station as well, and so taking care of a lot of things that normally I would, would be burdened ac across a few shoulders, and this has been a, I should be quite looking forward to, um, not taking quite so much responsibility. Duran Duran of the vacation. Yeah. I just asked you before we went on if if the audience at Jones Beach was was any different than uh, the audience for Duran Duran. It was just, uh, and what did I? I said yes. Well, you there said were boys. first of all, no. You said <laughs> wait a minute. It was, you said it was more mixed, and I said how do you mean mixed? And you said there were boys. Yeah. Meaning that the audience for Duran Duran is, is, is heavily female. Well, I, I think uh, that's a fairly well-known fact, yeah. Yeah. But uh, the, the past, it seems to be getting more of, a, more of a rock audience because the show is very much more rock and roll. Yeah. Really, it's very much a rock and roll show. As I said in, at, the, at the opening, that it was at the age of 24 wherein you had it made and so forth and decided yet to start another band. You have since turned 25. <laughs> now, <laughs> and Michael, uh, we've already established that you were more my vintage. I'm 19. Nin yes. 16 plus God only knows. 16. You have to ask our calendar. 35-ish. Now, it, does a rock star begin to 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 start thinking about now what am I really going to do in the future when he turns 24, <laughs> 25 and uh, get a proper job, you mean? Um yeah, I'm constantly thinking that. That's why I did this. I mean, I'm always thinking of something else to do. What do you figure is the lifespan of a Duran Duran? I'll just ask you because you're mm. more objective. As long as they want it. Well, no, we know the Stones are immortal, but no other band has proven to, to have that kind of longevity. Realistically, a decade? Well, no, I think that the Stones have proved a point in that, that you can keep it going if you keep yourself balanced and together. And John, of course, is the epitome of balance and togetherness. So. I'm sure it'll go on for a while, as I intend to go on for a while. What do you think Power Station has done for John Taylor's standing in the in the industry, not amongst his fans who would well, it's, it's, die for him? It's been a tremendous vehicle for him and Andy to be able to, um, you know, get out of one situation into another. I think the Power Station is a very spontaneous rock and roll band, you know, in which that you can be free with it. You're not locked into certain, you know, boundaries. Mm. But you can't develop fan loyalty for a band that's going to be gone. They have enough that's, that's fans. Not, that's, that's not what it's about at all. That, that was the whole idea. That's been the hardest thing that we've had. I mean, when Robert Palmer decided not to tour and Michael stepped in, you know, so many people, and nobody thought the tour would happen, you know. And we said, listen, that's not what it's about at all. It's not Mick Jagger leaving the Rolling Stones. There's no preconceptions of, of, a, of a band as such. It's meant to be a much more of a vehicle for collaborations. There's no reason why this power station could go on for years and years and years, mm -hmm. but it'll never make the same record twice. 